San Diego Comic Con 2015. Hi, this is Bill Martina from Mattel, designer on the WWE line, and I'm here to walk you through the case at the San Diego Comic Con 2015. Uh, we're showing off basic 54, 55, 56, and a few from 57, like that I just got fresh from the factory. Uh, highlights include uh, Tyson Kidd returning to the line for the first time in a long time, uh, The Rock, Roman Reigns, first ever Charlotte, first ever basic Sting. Uh, Torito is returning with a uh, shorter uh, mohawk and new, uh, new, new the shallower fur. Uh, new head scan on Bray Wyatt. Uh, Hideo Watami debuting in the line. He will be smaller in production. The left first legs came back a little long. New Day Xavier Woods. Naomi returns. Dean Ambrose, John Cena. Uh, 57 will include Finn Balor's debut. Paige is coming back out again. Eric Rowan in the new black sheep outfit. And the big guy. And we're also showing a prototype of work in progress on, uh, on Kevin Owens. Battle packs will include the New Day, uh, Kofi and Big E, Dean and Seth, and uh, Holland Nash from the NWO. These might have been, we've shown those before, but we're showing them again. Debuting at the show include J&J &J Security and The Ascension, along with the Usos return to the line, this time in blue and orange. And then our elites will include th Elite 36. Uh, we've shown these before, but here they are again. Elite 37 will be Brock Lesnar, John Cena in red, Miz in the Hollywood outfit, Seth Rollins with the briefcase, the, the, the CrossFit vest, and some cinder blocks you can put uh, Dean Ambrose through. Dean Malenko with the, uh, the entrance vest and the Cruiserweight title. And Stephanie McMahon from last year's uh, SummerSlam. I don't think anyone will ever forget that outfit. You can now own it in action figure form. Elite 38 will include first ever flashbacks of the APA, Farouk and Bradshaw. Farouk will actually come with the APA office door and a chair. And Bradshaw will come with the, the circular table that they all sat around, uh, enjoying beverages and the chair. Uh, the other flashback in the line is Macho Man Randy Savage from WCW 1995. Uh, Adam Rose makes his debut in the Elite line, along with returning Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan with a removable cloth Yes shirt. Some of our exclusive, actually, defining moments is uh, Hulk Hogan, Razor Ramon, Sting, and we debuted that The Undertaker will be returning as the fourth defining moment later in the year. I know a lot of people want this figure and never really had access to it. Now everyone will have access to one of our best figures we've ever done. We are also doing a, um, a backstage playset, which right now has some um, intruders, so to speak. I don't know where they came from. I don't know how they got there. Greatest Superstar is a new line we are debuting right now. It's out in some stores now, but this is going to be all over by the end of the year. You mix and match parts to create um, either new versions of your favorite superstars or completely new characters. So if you ever wanted to have like a dream match between uh, Daniel Bryan and uh, uh, a, a, a Viking warrior, now we can do that. So that's that's a big push for us this year. Moving on to our retail exclusives, we'll start with ringside collectibles because they're filming right now. We know about the Shawn Michaels and the Hulk Hogan. The Scott Hall exclusive has debuted at the show. It includes a removable Wolfpack vest, uh, NWO shirt, and a spray can so you can tag up all the belts. The Paul Bear Builder Figure Wave will play coming up. It's going to be coming out at Walmart later in the year. So you're going to buy four figures and get the parts to uh, assemble Paul Bear. The first two are Undertaker and Chris Jericho. The other two are still in development, so I couldn't show them at the show. Walmart will also be getting, in early 2016, fantasy matchups. Um, Hulk Hogan versus John Cena is like all Americans. And, uh, you know. Uh, Dean Ambrose and uh, Stone Cold is like masters of the microphone and uh, kind of stirring stuff up. Uh, Kmart will be getting Fan Central figures, which is like a new take on the, um, the entrance figures at Walmart. It's going to be guys in their, um, in their uh, uh, merchandise shirt, and each one will come with a, uh, a fan sign so for the, that relates to the character. Hall of Fame, I don't have much to show yet, but I wanted to bring some prototypes. Mouth of South, Jimmy Hart will be debuting in the Hall of Fame line early next year, along with the first ever Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, in the Elite, in elite Body Style will be in the Hall of Fame line. Uh, Toys R Us, last year as our Big Book giveaway, we did um, 
Lesnar breaks the streak this year, it Seth cashes in. That'll be available at Toys R Us later in the year. If you buy a certain amount of, of uh, WWE product, they'll give that to you for free. We will also be selling a debut John Cena action figure. You are watching Ringside Collectibles coverage of San Diego Comic-Con 2015.